guys, it's Feed on Speed. Oh, today is hot as hell. I am so white in my helmet. Kinda sucks and it's kinda gross. <laughs> oh, and in my last video, and I guess this one, you'll see that I got a new intro. Shout out to Brennan Moto again for making me another one. His link will be in the description box below if you want to check him out if you haven't already checked him out. Also, I freaking lost my shark keychain. Look at that. He's gone. I came back from a ride, I want to say maybe a couple days ago, and he was gone. So I don't know if I was going too fast or whatever, but he got off and hopefully someone Hopefully someone got him who loves sharks. <laughs> Another thing, I also got my ID back. Someone actually found it for me and I am super grateful. He actually found it maybe I think like the day after I lost it and sent me a message on Facebook but I couldn't read it because we weren't friends and it wasn't until I went on Facebook on my computer that I saw I had like a message request or whatever so shout out to you random dude totally forgot your name but thank you so much anyway we're on our way to a park that we found a while ago it's really nice the vibes are different even like the houses up there you could tell it's different <laughs> yesterday of course when I wasn't wearing my GoPro I almost freaking got hit by a truck or like sideswiped, you know, because like it was going like this, and uh, that was pretty terrifying. Honestly, my body was kind of like accepting of it. Like we already thought we were gonna get hit. I was just like, oh fuck, not again. You know what I mean? But I ended up being able to break uh, in time, so that was good I did give the guy the middle finger though <laughs> to tell him to watch out because my boyfriend had passed ahead of me and then I started speeding up and he just jumped three lanes to make a turning lane and I was like what the fuck so yeah that was kind of scary but thank god nothing happened you know Oh, I also have a story time for you guys. So you know how I was applying to all the King Supers and stuff? Well, they had sent out an email saying that they were gonna have a job fair or whatever. And I was like, okay, cool. I'll probably show up to one of them. It was from like, sorry, not to concentrate. <laughs> a few moments later. Sorry about that. Concentrate. I like to concentrate on turns. <laughs> and of course, we get a red light. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Moments later. We're gonna follow him because I totally don't really know where the park is. So as I was saying, I decided to go to a job fair. So I decided to go to King Supers close to my house and it was kind of late not gonna lie maybe like an hour and a half before they were gonna cut off the interviews and I was like maybe the sixth or fifth person to get an interview and like they're doing interviews I was they will come out there was two people doing interviews and soon it was dwindling down there was three of us and she was like how many people are left and like three of us raised our hands we were all waiting in the Starbucks area and so she's like, all right, we'll come and get that interview. More moments later. So yeah, there was three of us left and I saw some people leaving. I saw the lady again and she came back and she's like, okay, uh, the other guy will come and do the interview. And I was like, okay, cool. So I texted my boyfriend. I was like, okay, they said they'll interview me soon and 30 minutes later nothing no one and I was like 
what? Did they forget about me? And so I waited another 30 minutes because I had saw her. So I thought, I was like, okay, she's talking to a customer. She's going to come in, come and get me, you know? So I waited that 30 minutes and uh, nothing. So at this point, my ego, <laughs> not going to lie, guys, is pretty bruised. Because essentially, they forgot about me. They legit forgot about me. So I go to the customer service and I was like, I'm supposed to do an interview. They said they would come back for me, but no one did. And they're like, oh, okay, we'll find someone. So they get the other lady and they're like, she's waiting for an interview. And the lady was like, okay, well, if Jacob doesn't come back, then I'll, I'll do it. I wait up five minutes up by the counter and she just is like, okay, I'll do your interview. And since I was waiting so long, I only ended up getting to do the last part of the interview, which was like these kind of like essay questions in a sense, instead of like the full interview, which sucked. I mean, I even brought my resume, I gave it to her and never got a call back. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> so that was my mistake. Kind of sad that they forgot about me, not gonna lie. But whatever. Lesson learned, huh? To not go towards the end of an interview <laughs> or like job fair. Her excuse though was that it was way busier than they imagined and the other guy didn't like take a lunch break or something so when he got a little break and went upstairs he ended up totally forgetting and just taking a lunch which I would have understood if they just told me you know you know they wanted to make me wait what is this car doing Jesus Christ I fucking love little kids with motorcycles. Especially their faces when they realize that it's a girl. Okay, we thought this was a connecting park. This is, it wasn't apparently. <laughs> well, anyway, that's it for story time. I hope you guys are having a good day, night, afternoon, whatever. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!